Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be a comparison of my two favourite student grade brands. We've got Cotman from Windsor & Newton and Van Gogh from Royal Talents. So this is not a comparison of the entire range, it's just the 12 colours I would most likely have in my palette. Okay, so we'll start with the Cotman along the top row. And the first paint is their Lemon Yellow Hue. And it's made from PY175. I've said in previous videos that I like this pigment for Lemon Yellow. It's bright, clean, and it's not too opaque like some other pigments that brands choose for their Lemon Yellows. So next is Cadmium Red Pale Hue. And it's made from PY65 and PR255. I do like having an orange red or scarlet in my palette. I mean, it doesn't get used all that often, but it's nice to have it available when you need that really bright, intense red. And next we have a lizard and crimson hue. It's made from PR206. So this pigment's now discontinued, which is a bit of a shame as I quite like it. Um, I think Cotman is changing to PR179 instead for their alizarin crimson hue. Next is Ultramarine. It's made from PB29. I've heard a lot of people say they don't like Cotman's Ultramarine, saying it's a bit weak. Can't say I've had any problems with it though, it's fine for me. And next is Cobalt Blue Hue, and it's made from PW5 and PB29. I must confess I'm a bit of a fan of these student grade Cobalt Blue Hues. And not because they look or behave much like the real thing, they don't really, but I just think they're great sky colours. Next is Cerulean Blue Hue. Made from PB15. I actually think this is a really nice paint. I think I prefer it to some cerulean blues. It doesn't granulate like the real thing should though. Right, next we have Intense Blue, Thalo Blue. And it's made from PB15. So this is a phthalo blue green shade, and yeah, in my opinion, it's a pretty good one. And next is yellow ochre. It's made from PY42. I think it's a pretty decent yellow ochre. Uh, it's quite opaque, but... Yeah, yellow ochre should be opaque. And next is Burnt Sienna. It's made from PR101. I do like this Burnt Sienna, though I guess it's pretty orange-leaning. Um, maybe a bit too orange for some. But yeah, it does the job fine for me. And next we have Light Red, and it's made from PR101. So opaque Earth Reds are kind of my favourite colours, so I always like to have one in my palette if I can. Um, I do like this one, though sadly the colour's not quite the same as Windsor & Newton's Professional range. And next we have Burnt Umber. And it's made from PBR7 and PY42. I always have a bit of a problem with this paint. It comes out the tube a bit gloopy and grainy. Uh, the colour's quite nice though. 
and the final common paint is Payne's Grey, made from PBK7, PB29 and PB15. While I wouldn't say this Payne's Grey is anything special, yeah it does the job just fine. Though I would like it to be a tiny bit bluer though. Alright, so now onto the Van Gogh paints for comparison. First we have Permanent Lemon Yellow. And it's made from PY184. You can see this is a much more opaque pigment than the Cotman, but it is still very nice. And then we have Permanent Red Light, and it's made from PR254. It's not quite as orange leaning as the Cotman paint above, but it does the same job on my palette, no problems. Next is Quinacridone Rose. Sorry, I wrote the name out wrong on the page. And it's made from PV19. So it's a very different pigment from the PR206. Um, but yeah, it's a really lovely paint. And next is Ultramarine Deep. And it's made from PB29. You can see that this Ultramarine is quite a bit more red leaning than the Cotman. Well, I guess it is Ultramarine Deep, so I guess it should be. And next up is Cobalt Blue Ultramarine. And it's made from PB29 and PW6. quite like this cobalt blue hue too, though it's not as nice as the Cotman one, in my opinion. And next we have Cerulean Blue Thalo, made from PB15 and PW6. So this Cerulean Blue hue is much more opaque than the Cotman, uh, due to the added white, I guess. It is still quite useful in skies though, I quite like it. And next is Thalo Blue, which is just like the Cotman, made from PB15. Yeah, it's a very nice Thalo Blue. I do find this one to be a bit warmer than the Cotman, though. Um, it's still a green shade, but not quite as green leaning. So next we have Yellow Ochre. Is made from PY42. Yeah, pretty similar to the Cotman. Uh, both yellow ochres are quite nice in my opinion. And then we have Burnt Sienna, made from PR101 and PBK11. This is the old version of their Burnt Sienna. Um, it's now a single pigment, PR101, I think. I've not tried it though, so I don't know how it compares. Next is Light Red Oxide, or Light Oxide Red, sorry. Made from PR101. I think I used a lot more pigment for this one than I did the Cotman. They're actually pretty similar in colour, though I do prefer the Van Gogh. And next we have Burnt Umber. It's made from PR101 and PBK6. Yeah, this is a pretty good Burnt Umber. It's much nicer to paint with than the Cotman, I think. And finally we have Payne's Grey. Made from PBK6 and PV19. Again, I think I prefer this Payne's Grey to the Cotman. Um, it has a bit more life to it. Okay, that's all of them painted out, and here they are in daylight when completely dry. I'd say, at least for the colours I chose here, there's not actually a whole lot of difference. 
um, which yeah is pretty much in line with my experience whenever I've painted with either brand. I'd say the biggest difference I feel when painting at least is the Van Gogh is much easier to re-wet so easier to get enough paint on the brush. Um, if you squeeze the Cotman paints out of their tubes and allow them to dry they can be a bit of a pain to get going again. Of course you could add a drop or two of glycerin which helps a bit I suppose. Uh, one negative about the Van Gogh is that they can be a little on the opaque side. Um, it's not a big deal for the way I paint, but if glazing is your thing, then they're probably not the paints for you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.